Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster. And if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight right. because there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab. The head movement, it's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle, he's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot, yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people beautiful. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Hamilton, New Jersey, ferocious. And now to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, you can lose the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, huge block! He now connects with a right. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Got the single collar tie. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Leg kick. Single collar tie now. Man, 
striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful kick. Relax, relax. Got clip with the right hand. Oh. Now they're both throwing with power. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Powerful leg kick lands. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Yeah, right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just missing on the uppercut there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And a miss with the right hook. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. Landed that overhand right flush. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big leg kick land. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, Mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kick, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks, and you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expressions right. of his opponent. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Boy, Thai Bluff. And he caught the kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just out of range. Oh! <laughs> and what a round! Oh, 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 oh. Alright, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next okay, round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at the whip action that comes from this throw in that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Whoa! You just start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. An uppercut landed. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big head kick. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Slips that left hand. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. A scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Real sneaky body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. And now he's got the tie clinch. Boy, Ty Plum. Left hand punch the clinch. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those. Oh, oh he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, Josh. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Single collar tie there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh! Unbelievable. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Big knee to the body. Oh! And he continues to work the body here. Got the single collar tie. Big knee lands. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. Good punch land. Checks the leg kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, single collar tie here. Big body kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Thirty seconds to go. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Visibly limping here. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues 
to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. That's a big strike right there. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful head kick. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice punch land over the top. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, slips and rips. How about that for execution? Another shot lands upstairs. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Nice head kick. What a punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, great head movement there, slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Great punch, Landon, so much power. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be... Oh, huge elbow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he goes down again! Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. 30 seconds to go. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
right, so a big round for him there. DC will go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. All right, are you ready? You ready? Let's go, guys, fight! Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Oh, collar tie. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh! Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expecting... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Wow! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly, so... Near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 42 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iger. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.